other than work <laughs> is being busy an acceptable excuse for blowing somebody off? If you're not interested, then... If your celebrity crush came... Then to- if you're not interested, then just tell them that. Like, why do you... Why Why can't you... You're texting them. What the fuck? You don't have no confrontation. You don't got to deal with their emotions. Just tell them, like, I'm sorry, I'm not feeling you. Yeah, 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 whatever. Bye. You, why do you got to keep leading them on, making them think that, like, if they keep on texting you, that it's going to work? Which, if you, if you keep texting a woman, y'all are dumb. Do not just blow up a woman's phone. After getting a girl's number, how long is too long to wait and how soon is too soon to call? Um, personally, I think that's completely up to you and how you feel that conversation went. Do you prefer that they text or call when they first contact you? Text. text. Please don't call me right away. I won't answer. Why so is weird that? Because it's just too much pressure. Just text me. Do you prefer that they text or call when they first contact you? Mm, text. I think a call is kind of creepy. Yeah. Have you ever been ghosted Good before? Forward. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever ghosted somebody before? And if so, why? Yes. Um, they were too persistent. <laughs> yeah. Lose interest. Why do some people Man. flake rather than let someone know they're not interested? They feel bad. Yeah. Well, isn't it worse to lead somebody on? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. But I think they just, I think you feel bad at the moment. You feel guilty and you don't want to hurt anybody's, anybody's feelings. So you're just like, eh. Why do some women give out and even offer up their number, but then ghost you when you contact them? Mm, I don't know. I do it all the time. Because they don't want to say no in person because they feel like a bad person, which I get. It's understandable. I'm not going to lie. Especially not- since a lot of men can be really fucking like aggressive if they get told no. So I get it 100%. Uh, I don't really think it's nothing that a woman needs to change. I feel like it's something that a man needs to change on that. Just stop being fucking dickheads when a girl doesn't isn't interested in you. I'm not gonna lie, so maybe like they kind of like had good intentions and they kind of wanted to talk to you, but you weren't just that. You just weren't like that interesting. Maybe I don't know. I don't know why I do it. So I don't know. Um, have you ever been ghosted before? I swear, females don't understand. They don't think about why they do stuff. They just they do it, and if that's what they are, that's, if that's what they're used to doing, then they, they're just gonna keep doing it. They never sit back and think like, well, why did I do that? Why was I so mean to him? Why did why was I so too nice to him? Like, why why like they don't think about like the way their brain works is is so fucking weird to like sit back and look at as a as a outside viewer. Um. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Why do some women give out and even offer their phone number, but then ghost you when you contact them? They like the attention. How should Ooh, a man know a if a girl genuinely likes him or if she just wants attention? Ask. Is she showing in- No, what? <laughs> yeah, she, yeah, what she was about to say, is she's showing interest. In- interest. If she's, like, texting you back, she's texting you more, she's making, she's putting a lot of work into having a com- conversation with you, then she's probably interested in you. If she just sent in one word replies, or she gave you a wrong number, or, or she doesn't want to hang out, or whatever, then she's just leading you on. She's trying to put you in a friend zone. She's trying to find a man to be there to help her out when she needs something, but not re- expect anything in return. Interest in things that you're interested in, asking you questions about yourself, or is she just talking about herself and yeah. waiting for you to ask more questions about mm. her? I feel like a lot of women are really like self-involved, so they don't really care about you. And I don't think that de- determines if they are interested in you or not. I think it shows you about who she is as a woman. But just as she's talking about herself so much, I don't think that means that she's not interested in you. It's how she's texting you. And if you can't pick up on that, then I don't really know how to explain it. Age a man's level of interest, whether he asks for your Instagram versus your phone number. Yes. yes. Why? Uh, quality over quantity. I think it's kind of like slutty to ask for your Instagram and not your phone number. Maybe. Really? Okay. I can see that. What if he asked for your OnlyFans? Would that be uh, sluttier? Definitely no, sluttier. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever ghosted somebody, and if so, why? Yes, because I wasn't interested, and then he kept texting me, and I felt bad, so I told him I wasn't interested anymore. <laughs> How should a man know if a woman is playing hard to get or if she's just not interested? She doesn't text you. She doesn't call you. She does not return your call. She's not... She... She don't... She's not texting you, dude. 
men, that's the one thing men don't understand is when a woman's not interested, they don't get that point. They don't see it. They just keep, continue to do yeah, it. Yeah, men are stupid. So if a woman is short answered, not, you can just tell by the answer she gives you, yeah, yes, okay, sure, da, da, you know she's not interested. If she gives you in-depth questions and answers with detail and uh, information, then she's interested in you. Yeah, men, <laughs> men are really bad at reading body language and reading conversation, talking language. Talking point, I don't know, I don't know what the, what I was going with that. But they're really bad at, like, observing how someone's treating them by just conversation or their body language. And I feel like it's it's a mainly a man thing. I don't think women really have a problem with that. We gotta know you before we hang out with you. We can't just, it's hard for women. A lot of people, a lot of men are creeps, weirdos, want you just for one reason. Like, you gotta be protective for a woman. But how are you gonna get to know somebody if you don't communicate with them? We can text. You said texting, right? You said... Well, right, but aren't you going to get a better communication if you actually talk to them instead of text? Maybe one date. Maybe one date. If women are always talking about needing vibes in order to have a connection, why would any of them want to know somebody through a device? That's a good question, because you know what? On social media, you can, like, portray a certain vibe, and it's actually not your energy at all. If they want to get a vibe, I get, I get like, like I, I, I'm on the women's side on this. Like, I don't think a woman should have to answer a phone call or go on a date with you instantly. I feel like they, they're smart to fill you out through text to see if you are even interested in them, if you're weird, if you're aggressive, or if you're even like patient. Because if you don't show patience to a girl, not too much patience, but enough patience to where it's not like weird. Like, you can't just text her one day and be like, why the fuck ain't we hanging out tonight? You got to at least give it a few days, maybe a week or two to make sure that she has an open day. But if she keeps on ghosting you and telling you like, ah, oh, something came up, I can't hang out. She's not interested in you. She's just wasting your time. She's using you for conversation and she has no plan on ever hanging out with you. So just in that shit right there. From someone you need to be in their area. You need to feel them. You need to see them. You need to see how yeah, they react, exactly. their gestures. Like I might say, yeah, but in my in real life, I might say, yeah, with a big giant smile on my face, do something else, which makes me different from other people instead of saying, yeah. If women are It's an L that men take. They can't show their true personality because women always want to text them. But at the same time, like, what, I mean, I feel like adding people on social media is better. So you can show people your personality. You can show them how you act and what you do and what you like and what you enjoy. When in texting, all you just... It's just words, and people can interpret it however the fuck they want to interpret it, which could be an L for you. I'm a shit. I'm I'm not a shitty texter, but I am shitty at first because I don't know how to express myself, how I act through words on a screen, you know? Because I know that they're not going to read it how I say it. So I always, whenever I was in that dating market, I always thought, like, extra hard on how to be funny generally instead of just myself type of funny, you know? Because... Myself, type of funny is only funny because of my body language and how I pronounce pronounce my sentences and words or uh, ad libs. I guess I don't know what that was. Yeah. Just talking about needing vibes in order to have a connection. Why would any of them want to get to know somebody through a device? Because people are busy. No. Are you too busy to find love, or do you no, make time for what's important? Both. Other than work, is being busy an acceptable excuse for blowing somebody off? No. Other than work, <laughs> is being busy an acceptable excuse for blowing somebody off? If you're not interested, then... If your celebrity crush came... Then if you're not interested, then just tell them that. Like, why do you... Why, why can't you... You're texting them. What the fuck? You don't have no confrontation. You don't got to deal with their emotions. Just tell them, like, I'm sorry, I'm not feeling you. Yeah, 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 whatever. Bye. Why do you got to keep leading them on, making them think that, like, if they keep on texting you, that it's going to work? Which, if you if you keep texting a woman, y'all are dumb. Do not just blow up a woman's phone. The less you text her, the more she's going to want you. Like I've said plenty of times before, a woman don't want a man that needs her. She wants a man that wants her. But if you only want her, then you got other stuff to focus on. You ain't constantly bombarding her with texts, talking about how beautiful and how much you want to hang out with her. If you want her, then she'll come to you. As long as as long as y'all communicate a little bit, that's all that that matters. The town and wanted to see you. Wouldn't you cancel some shit? Yeah. 
John Cena, Justin Bieber. I'm in Las Vegas. Please. <laughs> if your celebrity crush came to town and wanted to see you, wouldn't you make time to see him? Oh, most definitely. So then, That's isn't it true? Celebrity. It's That's different. Like, yeah. It's well, is it, is if it, you really like somebody, you're going to make time to see them. Like, it's if you don't, then you're going to obviously like, oh, yeah, we could do that another day. So would you say that women make rules for the wrong guy and break rules for the right guy? Yes. yes. Does, for- I wouldn't say it's different. Uh, I get the whole hanging out with celebrity things. is like such a crazy thing to say, like, oh, I hung out with this and this celebrity, and we did this and this, and we went there and there. Like, I get it. It's cool. It's like it's like notoriety, but it's not different. Like if, if I feel like women need to think about average men the same way that they think about some celebrity that's not gonna give a fuck about them. It's kind of crazy how women are just starstruck constantly by. I guess it's just like something that they evolve with. I mean, if you think about it, like they've always been attracted to kings. They've always been attracted to the best hunters of the tribe. They've always been attracted to the top dog. So all these celebrities are on the top dog status. Everyone knows their name. So I guess it's like biologically in them to want that. But I would think like from me being a man, I guess I can't relate. But for me being a man, I've never looked at the celebrity and been like, oh, I would fucking start crying if I've met them. Uh, like I, even my the people I look up to the most, I wouldn't be like, like I don't think I would. I don't think I'd be like starstruck by them, like how females are. They're like... They'd kill their own family member just to get lucky with a celebrity, I feel like. But that's going to be that. If you want me to end up watching the rest of this video, comment down below and let me know. Please like, comment, share the video to your friends. I need some more subscribers, man. Not trying to sound needy, but I just need them so I can uh, start making longer form content for y'all. But if you ain't trying to do that, then that's whatever. Just give me a like, please. And... Deuces. Let me show you how to hustle. Real that nigga and I got it off the muscle. Nicks talk tough, but was never trying to tussle. If that bitch broke, give him back to the streets. In love with the bag, I can't fuck it for free. Heard he was hating, but down on his knees. You switched on your dogs, but that couldn't be me.